Footage has been released showing a joint attack on a Russian position by the 47th, 33rd and 21st Brigades of the Ukrainian Army. Armored vehicles of the 47th Brigade created a smoke screen near the position of the invaders, making it difficult for them to see. As a result, with the support of the artillerymen of the 21st Brigade, the infantrymen of the 33rd Brigade were able to advance and clear the position. Ukrainian fighters destroyed the invaders in the area using mainly cluster and fugas shells. The first units of North Korean troops are already in the Russian Federation. Namely, on October the 23rd, 2024, they were spotted in the Kursk region, according to Oboz Revatel media outlet. The main intelligence directorate of Ukraine explained how Russia is preparing Koreans for war against Ukraine. In particular, Moscow will provide each North Korean with 50 meters of toilet paper and 30 grams of soap per month, according to established standards. The soldiers sent by Pyongyang are being provided with ammunition, bedding, winter clothing and footwear, as well as hygiene products, the statement said. It is noted that the training of the North Korean army soldiers who arrived in Russia is taking place at five military training grounds located in the east of the aggressor state Baranovsky, Donguz, Ekaterinoslavsky, 24th and 249th. Several weeks after being allocated for the approval of the North Korean military that Russia intends to involve in the war against Ukraine. According to estimates by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, the number of North Korean military personnel transferred to Russia currently amounts to about 12,000 people, including 500 officers, including three Pyongyang generals. Moscow has appointed Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Yunus Bek Yevgurkov, responsible for monitoring the military training and adaptation of the North Korean troops. The Kremlin places extraordinary hopes on the North Korean component in the war against Ukraine and the global confrontation with the West. The main intelligence directorate of Ukraine concluded, Ukraine has since shared intelligence with NATO about North Korea's military involvement and requested data from alliance members. NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte said that the participation of the North Korean military in the war against Ukraine on the side of Russia would mean a significant escalation. Later, it was reported that South Korea was considering providing Ukraine with military and intelligence assistance in response to North Korea's sending its military to fight on the side of Russia. South Korea may consider providing weapons to Ukraine depending on the extent of military cooperation between Russia and North Korea, states South Korean President Yoon suk yeol He stated that South Korea will not sit idly by in response to North Korea sending troops to Russia. If North Korea sends special forces to the war in Ukraine, we will provide support to Ukraine step by step and consider taking the necessary measures to ensure the security of the Korean Peninsula, Yoon said. According to him, South Korea adheres to the principle of not supplying lethal weapons directly, but in this case, it may reconsider the issue. This will depend on North Korea's military activity. The Republic of Korea will never sit idly by and will take the necessary measures step by step in coordination with the international community depending on the development of military cooperation between North Korea and Russia, he stated.
The fighters of the 82nd separate Bukovina Airborne Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine liquidated Russian Marines in the Kursk region of Russia. It is known that these Russian criminals had previously executed Ukrainian soldiers. In a commentary for Channel 24, military expert, pilot instructor and retired colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Roman Sivitan analyzed the actions of the Russians in the Pokrovsk direction. According to him, more than one brigade of Russian Marines has already been exposed in genocidal actions, demonstrating photos and videos confirming these actions. These are war crimes with no statute of limitations. It was the 155th Brigade that was noticed in the executions and abuse of Ukrainian prisoners of war. Now they are really having a black day said Roman Svitan. However, they will have this black day until the end of their existence. They will no longer be able to surrender. The military expert added, Recall a group of Russian troops whose brigade has been accused of war crimes, has been destroyed by Ukrainian forces. It has been reported, prompting family members of the casualties to express their distress and anger on social media. During the war started by Russian President Vladimir Putin, Russia's 155th Marine Brigade of the Pacific Fleet has faced accusations of similarly executing Ukrainian prisoners. On October the 10th, personnel from the brigade overran Ukrainian drone operators in the west of the Kursk Oblast where Kiev's forces have staged an incursion since August the 6th, reportedly seizing hundreds of square miles of territory. In an incident that has sparked international outrage, Kiev says drone footage shows the nine captured Ukrainians being stripped, ordered to lie down and shot. Ukraine's 95th Airborne Assault Brigade in the Kursk region the enemy suffered significant losses in a battle with Ukrainian paratroopers. October the 16th was a black day in my life for me, wrote the woman next to an image she said was of the 155th Motorized Rifle Brigade, 3rd Battalion, 4th Company, 3rd Platoon. It was captioned Ekaterina Badugo. Remember these faces, the post added, describing them as heroes who repelled a Ukrainian attack near the village of Sudza, which Kiev's forces have captured. They all gave their lives for you and me. My husband, who is in the lower left corner, among others, I will be proud of you for the rest of my life. I promise. The VK Post added, The post had received over 2,000 views and a number of comments, including one that read, When will it end? Our poor men. Another urged Russians to just leave Ukrainian territory and no one will die at all. Roman Sivitan noted that the first units of North Korean troops will definitely enter the combat contact line in Kursk since they have been undergoing training for a long time. This is mainly the command staff for deployment to the combat contact line. Then there will be a return back to continue training our personnel, these thousands who may appear on our front in some time, noted Sivitan. I think that they will be closely watched now so as not to give them the opportunity to complete the training of personnel. They will have to be destroyed. The mechanisms exist, the military expert emphasized.